Hi guys, welcome to Colossal's Mathematics class. Thanks for watching my videos. I really appreciate. It. If you've not subscribed to my channel, quickly do that by clicking on the subscription button and also hit the notification button so you can get to see more videos as it's been uploaded. Thank you. All right, today we want to talk about shortcuts on solving questions on limits. Shortcut on solving questions on limits. All right, so we have the first question here. Limit as x approaches 2 of x squared minus 4 all over x minus 2. So the way you do this, once you have questions on limit that deals with rather as rational, like you have a division sign in there, what you do is you differentiate it once. So you have limit as x approaches 2. So if you differentiate this numerator, x squared minus 4, if you differentiate it, you will have what? x, you will 2. That means you will have what? 2x, that is this 2 will drop. So if you multiply your x, that's 2x, then 4 will become 0 as constant. Over x, if you differentiate your x, it will be what? 1. So put in the limit now, and that will be what? 2 multiplied by what? 2 over 1, and that will give you what? 4. So the limit as x tends to 2 of this equation, of this expression, is what? 4. So do we get that now? All right. So the second one. So you can go ahead and pause the video and try it all by yourself. All right. So the second one, we have the limit as x approaches 3, as x approaches minus 3, of x to the power 3 plus 27 all over what x plus 3. Don't forget I said in my, li in my last video on limits that if you put your limit directly in most questions, you tend to get an undefined equation. Look, in, look at for example, if I put minus 3 into this equation, the denominator will become what? 0. And one of the rules is that what? My denominator must not be equal to what? Zero. All right. So that is why I'm teaching you this shortcut. So you can apply it in your exams and get your answer very faster. All right. So you have to differentiate again here. So if you differentiate, you have what? Three x squared. Because this three will come down and then you remove one from it. So that's three x squared plus 27 is a constant. So you don't, it will become zero. All over, if you differentiate your x, it will become what? 1. All right? So you cannot put your limit as your x approaches minus 3. And that would be what? 3 open bracket minus 3 all square over what? 1. And that would be what? 3 minus 3 square is what? 9. And that means our answer is what? 27. So some of you might be asking, oh, this place, our answer is 4. And this place, our answer is 27. Does that mean anytime I have a question like this, the answer is always the constant? No, it's not always like that. So you just have to apply the principle and get the correct answer. All right. So to the next question we have here, to the next question, we have the limit as x approaches minus 1 of x squared plus 3x x squared plus 3x plus 2 all over x squared plus 4x plus 3. Do we get that now? All right. So this one now, the way to solve it is still the same thing. So let's differentiate. So if you differentiate x squared, you have what? 2x. If you differentiate 3x, you will have 3. Do you get that? If you differentiate x squared here, so you have what? 2x. And if you differentiate 2x, you, you have what? 4. Then you cannot put your what? Your limit as x approaches what? Minus 1. And that will be what? Anywhere you see x, you put minus 1. And that will be 2 open bracket minus 1 plus 3. All over what? 2 open bracket minus 1 plus what? 4. 2 times minus 1 is minus 2 plus 3 over minus 2 plus 4. Alright, minus 2 plus 3 will give you what? 1. 
over minus 2 plus 4 will give you what? 2. And that will be our final answer. Alright. So, why, how will you do this? Now, if you don't have a numerator, if you don't have a numerator in your matrix, the way you do it is you just input. Directly, you impute your matrix. Mm. All right, so the last one limit as x approaches to of the square root of what the let's say the cube root, so let's say cube root of the cube root of x square minus 3x plus 2. So what you do here is impute your limit directly. Impute your limit what? Directly. And that what the cube root of what? 2 squared minus 3 into 2 plus what? 2. And that will be the cube root of what? 2 squared is what? 4 minus 3 times 3 is what? 6. Then this one is what? Plus Two, and that will give us what the cube root of what zero. Wow, and that's what zero. Wow, done. So this is the way you solve the limit. This is the way you solve the limit. So once it doesn't have um, a, a a denominator, just impute your matrix directly. I guess it. But let's let's imagine this piece is four. If it is 4, what are you going to be having? You are going to have what? 8. And you are going to have to what? The cube root of what? 2. So this is the way you solve them. And you get what I'm saying. Alright. So don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. On my next video, I'll be talking extensively on differentiation. I'll be talking extensively on what? On differentiation and its application. So if you've not subscribed, like I said earlier, Click the subscription button and also the notification button so you can get to see more videos as it's being uploaded. Thank you for watching and God bless you. Put your matrix 